Hi there, welcome back to Print Shapes. Tonight I'm gonna try out a new razor which came in yesterday, finally. <laughs> and it is the Car Overlander. This is with a 3.5 Canop panel with a blue Canop. And it is a true beauty. It's an aluminium, aluminium or aluminium razor. And it has a really good knurling to it. Really light, I think it's weighed in at 37 grams. It has, I think it's 0.72 or 0.73 of a blade, blade gap. And a little bit positive blade exposure. Uh, I don't uh, remember the exact measurements on that. But it's very uh, equal to the B plate on the Christopher Bradley razor. And just... Just here it is. It's a three piece razor and it's just so well built. And I screw the handle on. No sound at all. I have a little plastic washer to protect the handle from the base plate. I'm gonna put in a brand new Gillette Nasset. So I'm gonna load that razor straight up down here. I'm really excited to see how this razor, razor feels. I have only heard really good things about it. So that should be good. New blade. I must say the razor feels really good in the hand. But I have never ever Used such a light razor. The blade just clamps in perfect. It aligns just perfect from the first try. Really well balanced. The balance point is right there where I got my all my fingers. It's a really really nice razor. It's the only aluminum razor I have ever had. So soap all tonight. Is Luna from Elysian Soap Shop in collaboration, collaboration with the Wet Shaving Store, Smiles from Eyes, and Razor Ray. Brush will be my Mule Non. This is a 21mm uh, best badger with a turtle like, uh, I think it's plastic handle. So I'm just gonna fill up my little water mug down here and go straight into the load this beautiful soap which I have used on the channel before you can go there and find my little review or impression video about it it has a really pleasant scent and as every soap from Shannon the soap is, is really, really good. It's quite a firm or hard soap, which I like. That should be plenty. I'm gonna splash some cold water to the face. Yeah, so Luna is one of two soaps that were released as a limited run. The other one was Sol, which means sun, in actually both Norwegian and Spanish, I think. Swedish as well, and Danish is many, many languages that has Sol as a word for sun. Oh yeah, Luna really smells good. Luna is a little bit more dark scented than the soul soap. Luna means moon. Moon on Norwegian is not Luna, it's Måne. I think I did way too much of body.
but it's a Banshee brush so I like to load them rather heavy and rather have too much than too little better add more water and end up with a thin layer this is a really tidy knot, it's not dense at all it has a little bit of scrub, no switch and scratch, but it provides a really good light ladder. I'm not a fan of these short handles. They tend to make a mess. At least with my laddering style or laddering technique. I got two days of growth. I really wanted to shave yesterday. When the razor came in, but I decided to wait one more day to see how it feels with a little bit more of growth. This is still really dry. Dip the whole knot there. Once again, the whole knot. Trying to work my way through this paste. It's so great, it's so really easy to work with. And as you can see, it's building up a really good ladder. It's a towel based soap, beef towel. And that's my ladder done. I think the lightest razor I have used to this date is my Gillette Super Speed Blue Tip, which has a an aluminum handle. And I'm kind of starting to enjoy the lighter razors in my den, so we'll see. First pass. Really intuitive to find an angle. It's a little bit another angle than with the Christopher Bradley. It's really smooth. It actually doesn't feel like there's a blade in there. It's so comfortable, really gripping this angle. And it's really easy to control the pressure because the razor is so light. The leather saddles works really good. They work better on this razor than on the Christopher Bradley razor. Where it turns to the leather uh, falls down the handle. The profile on the head is a little, little bit slimmer as well. 
really, really easy to get on your nose. And as you can see, the blade taps are covered by the by the top cap. Wow. This is really smooth, yet super efficient. This is the first impression we do. So I need to get more shaves under my belt. But man. This is great stuff. That felt really good that first boss. Just gonna add some water. I can feel there's more stubbles and some eras I missed. That will go in the next pause, I guess. Seems like the racer is doing a really good job with a NASA plane. NASA and Astra Greens are probably the blades I've been enjoying the most lately. They just seem to work really good in all of my racers. This is a little bit dry for my liking, so I'm just gonna add and paint in some more water to the leather. I really didn't overload the brush. There you go. Mm. The soap is really slick. It feels dense and protective on the skin. Doing a great job. I love the soaps from a soap shop. They're just so nice on the skin. I can honestly feel no blade. Nothing. The hair is cutting. And you can hear it. A very low sound to be an aluminium racer. Which tells me it's really not much of a blade shatter. The blade just clamps really great. Wow, a little bit against the grain there, and I didn't feel anything, like nothing. Huh. Could this be the holy grain of re racers? Time will tell. There's no reason asking, I'm going to do a tour de pass.
That has thinned out a little bit, but that's okay. All I really need is the slickness. Painting some more water to this. I can see it's starting to get a little bit longer video than usual, but that is okay. I'm really enjoying this. Could this be the Holy Grail of racers? Someone claims so. Let's say it's this. This is a really good racer. Mm. Open up a little tiny vapor there. Same vapor I have opened up the last shaves. It's nothing the racer's fault. That's all down to me. Forgot what I was doing there. I'm just so excited uh, of all, how good, good this feels. residual slickness on that soap going down for some cold water rinsing Really close shape. Let's see if the alum gives some feedback. Only feedback is that tiny weeper. It hasn't healed up yet since the last time I opened it. And now I really get it. That's okay. It will stop eventually. Not worried about that at all. So the shave was 100% perfect. If you look not to take that in account and I don't because the shave felt really good wow.
tap that face off. <sighs> yeah. Still bleed. Think we should uh, do, do, do. hit it up with some. Um, Thick pencil, so just some cold water on that, and rub it on. Let that sit for a little while, and see if that stops the bleeding. Can rinse out my brush meanwhile. A little bit another left for some pickups. Which I didn't do. It's a really nice scent in the bottom now from that soap. really knows how to blend great scents and make really good shaving soaps. I cannot speak high enough about her products. I really can't. Okay, just gonna dab some cold water on that little thing. Sort it out. Maybe we'll see after the splash, which is which is alcohol based. If it starts to bleed again, I guess it probably will. We're gonna do the matching of the shape. Shake that up really good, and this has a really good list of really high quality ingredients. Oops, the restrictor is left in the. Back on. It's a nice plastic restrictor, like so. Ah. Yeah, oh, the tiniest of burns. And this stuff is so good, so even if it's full over here now, um. It has cooled down a bit weather-wise. I actually don't need a bowl. This just does the trick for me. A lot of good skin food. Yeah. So, that was me done and dusted. Let's do a quick recap on what we used. The start of the shave. The Carve Overlander from Carve Shaving over in Canada is just impeccable finished. It shaves really smooth. It paired up really good with my Gillette Lasset. It feels great in the hand. It's efficient, but really, really, really smooth. I didn't feel the blade any time during my three pass shave. I'm really happy. I'm gonna continue using this quite many shaves from now and really get the hang of it and then I will probably probably have a new competitor of my best modern racer ever which by this state my best DE modern DE is the Christopher Bradley this could be a challenge here we will see. Brush was my Mule Non with a 21mm tiny little best badger no, uh, not, and so was Luna by an Eastern soap shop over in Pennsylvania in the States. 
thank you for watching i really enjoyed this i hope you did so please subscribe to my channel and until my next video goodbye